but collectively, I'm worried you're going to fail, fail the country. When Alan and I first got into this, we thought we were doing it for our 15 grandkids. I have nine and he has six. But the closer we got to the numbers, the more we realized we weren't doing it for our grandkids. We weren't even doing it for our kids. We were doing it for us. That's how dire the situation is today. I think that we face the most predictable economic crisis in history. I know that the fiscal path we are on here in Washington is not sustainable. And I know that each of you know it. And you see it because it's as clear as day. When Alan and I travel around the country and we talk to people and we ask them, why do you think we have these deficits? They tell us, oh, it's got to be waste, fraud, and abuse. It's got to be foreign aid, oil company subsidies. And yes, all of those are a small part of the problem. But the big problem really comes from four sources, and you know it. The first is health care. We spend twice as much as any developed country in the world on health care. And unfortunately, if you look at the outcomes, our outcomes don't match the outlays. We rank somewhere between 25th and 50th in things like infant mortality, life expectancy, preventable, preventable death. And so the rapid growth of health care and the unsustainable growth of health care is our number one problem. The second biggest problem today, I believe, is that we spend in this country, more than the next 14 largest countries combined on defense. Admiral Mullen, chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, who just stepped down, recently said that our biggest national security problem is these deficits and this debt, because it will consume every dollar of resource we have. We believe that we have to make reasonable cuts in defense. Third, I believe that we have the most ineffective, inefficient, anti-competitive tax system that man could